Hi, my name's April Stott and I'm Alex's auntie and we're gonna draw a picture that goes with this book, Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light. And Alex, do you wanna say hi to your class? Hi. Okay, ready? Okay. So, okay, so in this book, at the beginning, the animals are all afraid of Bear. Do you remember why they're so afraid of him? Because they think he'll eat them. Yeah, because he's so big. Yeah. And so Coco and Bear try and bring gifts to make friends. Yay. And then what happens? Do the animals like the gifts at first? Uh, no, but no. after Ashley works out pretty nice. That's right. Afterwards, they find out that he's a nice bear and they all have a party at the end. Party. So um, they make lanterns and cookies to share um, at the end, um, at the beginning, and then at the end, um, they have a little dance party with the lanterns. So we're gonna draw a picture of um, a mouse with a lantern that goes along with the story. Okay, so before we start, we have a couple different colors of crayon. So we have a, a kind of yellowy orange, these are just the colors that and I we want. and we have a regular yellow. Then we have a dark brown. And then we have a lighter brown. We have a gray and a pink. And then a light blue and a dark blue and a black. And all these colors should just look like those. Yes, it's okay if they look a little bit different. Do you ever try a crayon and you think it's one color and it turns out to be a totally different yeah, color? sometimes that happens with red to pink. Yeah, and it happens with blues with me a lot. So I like to try them out on a piece of scratch paper. And then right here, we have Sharpie markers that we're going to use, but you could use just a regular black marker if you don't have Sharpies or Sharpie. if you're not allowed oh, to use Sharpies. Sharpies. That's right. Okay, so let's get our papers ready. And if you are doing it with somebody else, just grab as many papers as you need. That's right. You can make more than one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's your doing it with somebody like me. That's right. So um, we are going to start with a little, um, It's I call it a whisper line. So actually I'll show you on my piece whisper. of scrap paper. And so, a whisper line is really white. Really, really light. So you can barely see it, right? And then what? What? why don't you take this and draw a screaming line for me really quick on here. Can you draw like a really loud line? Yeah, see? That is so, so screaming and dark like that. So then we're going to do some whisper lines that are really soft like this. Okay. And you need the light blue. Yes, let's start with the light blue. I'm going to draw mine a little darker, but Alex, I want you to do yours like a whisper line, okay? Here's the light blue right here. Do you want to use this one? You can use the gray if you want. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is find the middle of our paper. Where's the middle? Here. Do, okay. And then we're going to draw a very light line across the middle of our paper like and that. And then I draw a dot so I know where I'm going. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Then on this side of the paper right here, you're going to start at this line and do a rectangle in a light whisper line. Okay, so do a rectangle that comes up right here. Oh, that's great, Alex. Very nice. Okay, now if next... You up the bit on the rectangle, it's fine. Yep, that's why we're doing light, light lines. Okay, and so then I'm, a, I'm actually going to go a little bit darker so you guys can see this. Okay, and then right here Right on this line, I want you to draw a circle about that big. Can you draw a circle? And then right here, on top of it, almost like a snowman that's falling over, I want you to draw another really light circle right here. Can you draw a really light circle? Oh no, the snowman's falling. Oh no! And then we're going to um, make it look like he's standing next to the lantern. So. Um, I want to make sure he can reach the lantern. So if you need to move where your lantern line is, you can do that. Draw a little arm right here. And can he reach the lantern? 
So you can either make his lo arm longer or you can make the lantern come closer to him. Which, arm longer. Oh, you're going to make his arm longer. Okay, sounds good. And then right here, um, we're going to do another little arm that's coming down. Right here. So watch what I'm doing first, okay? So I'm starting at, at kind of the middle of the circle on the left. And then I'm just going to draw a line down like that. And then I'm going to draw another line. And that's going to be his little arm. Very nice, Alex. And then right here, we're going to do a big line that comes around like that. And if you mess up with these whisper lines, you can do it again, which is a cool thing because they're so thin. That's right. That's exactly right. That's why we're doing it so light so you can do it again. So now do a little line like this. Very nice. Okay. And then we're going to do his ears. So right here... Do you see how um, his snowman that's kind of fallen over? I want you to take your finger and find this spot of the circle first. Yeah, so right where your finger is, I want you to draw another circle right here. Do you see how it kind of went over it? Just like that. That's great, Alex. Okay, and then right here on top of this circle, are you watching, bud? On top of the circle, we're going to go make a line like this that goes kind of straight with a little circle on the end. Oh, that's perfect, Alex. And then right here, a little smile is going to come down. Very nice. And then right here, for, find it with your finger first. We're going to put a, a little dot for his eye right in the middle right there, okay? That is great. Okay, and now we're going to give him a back leg and a little mouse butt. <laughs> okay, so we're going to, I'm going to draw a line that goes right here mm -hmm. and then right here. So then it looks like he's kind of resting on his back leg. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's perfect. And then this line right here, I'll just blend it in. Okay, now we have kind of like the skeleton of our drawing, but not in a spooky way. This is like the base of our drawing. We're going to start to add some color and stuff to it now. Not, not like Halloween skeleton. Not like Halloween skeleton, that's right. So grab your dark brown. Dark brown. And we're going to start to add a little color. So right here on the top of his head. Going. Going like that. And then do you see his ear right here? We're not going to do the whole circle. Watch me first, okay? I'm going to take my brown and do a little. And do it. It's like a backward C. Do you see that? Backward C. Nice. And then right here, we're going to do one more ear. And it's just a little, it looks boop, like a sun setting over a hill. Very nice. Okay. And then under his ear, I want you to draw the line all the way down to his tail all the way down here see how it's just all the way down to his tail very nice see how his tail curves right here so i want you to make this line go all the way down with your brown crayon okay good job alex okay right here where his little leg is we're going to do that in brown too just like that And then right here, we're going to do his little paw. And then right here, his other little paw. The puppy wants to come in, huh? Very nice, bud. Okay, and then right here, I want you to make the line go from his paw back to his body. Okay, now we're going to take our Sharpie and we're going to put a little bit of detail in. Sharpie so, time. yep, so watch me first, okay? On this circle, I'm going to make it look like there's a little bit of light. So, I'm going to make a circle and then I made another little circle right there and then I'm coloring the rest in so it looks like it has a little highlight in his eye. Did you see how I did that? If you accidentally color in the whole circle, it is no big deal. And then right here under his nose, we're going to make a little C, like that. Do you see where his nose is? 
Mm -hmm. And then right from the bottom of his nose over another little curvy line, just like that. And then at the end of the curvy line, you can do a little dot like that. Very nice, Alex. Okay, so um, now we can take the dark brown again and we're going to color a little bit. So we're going to leave his belly, we're going to leave his belly white. Okay, so we're going to go right here where the dark line is. And before we start, can you connect these lines? It'll make it easier. Oh, not with the Sharpie, with the brown crayon. Sorry, friend. Can you put the Sharpie away, friend? Put the lid on it. There you go. Good job. Very nice. Okay, so now we're going to um, make it darker on his back and then lighter as you come out, just like that. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Good job, Alex. And then do you see his little ear back here? Yeah. Color, I want you to color that one in all the way in with the brown. Nice. If you mess up, that's fine. Eric. That's right. This is just for fun. Okay. And then right here on his little back, you can color it in too. How are you feeling about your drawing? Pretty good? Yeah. Good. I'm glad. And then right here, his little arm. Okay. And then, um, let's see, let's take the pink. Can you grab your pink? Good job. Um, or you can use that one right there, either one, whichever one you want. And you know what, I think his nose got moved a little bit. I think his nose should be out here. Do you want to make his nose out here? You want to leave it right there? Right there. Okay, so you can draw his, make the pink on top of his nose then. And then we can do the pink inside of his ear right here. Do you see where his ear is? And if you want to see what it looks like when it's finished, you need to kind of see from the camera over there. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll show them ours at the end, and then they'll see. Can you color inside your ear? Nice, Alex. Because it's a mousy. Mm -hmm. And then right here, I want you to go on pink on top of his little curvy tail right here. Very nice. Okay, so we want your mouse to look like he's round, right? So we're going to take this. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to take the gray. So grab your gray crayon. And do you remember that first circle that we drew? Do you remember that first circle? Mm -hmm. I want you to draw that again in the gray crayon. And kind of bring his body all together. Very nice. And then do the same thing on his head up here. Small falling small Very falling. nice, Alex. And then draw, uh, make his, so we, his arm isn't just one line, draw another gray and line under. If it doesn't under. look like any of these, that's fine. That's okay. totally fine. That's right. So draw another because line under his arm right there. Just if you like it. That's just right. Like it if you like it. That's exactly right, Alex. His arm. And then the one that's touching the lantern. Where is that? Right there. Okay, now we're going to take this light brown color right here. Yeah, that one right there. And I want you to color on top of all the dark brown. Of all the dark brown. Sometimes pins do that. Sometimes they, they break a little bit, huh? Mm. Except you see, I didn't co color right where his little face was right there. Yep. And then I didn't color where his belly is right there. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Do you want to use mine? Would that be no, easier? No, it's okay. Okay, you kind of like that. Okay, so now yes. we're going to um, draw. Um, I want you to grab this. Oh, we still have the light brown. Actually, the first thing we're going to do is we want to make sure we can really see our lantern shape. So can you take your light blue and make sure you can really see the lantern right here. You want it to come all the way down to this line right here. Stronger color. Yeah, that's a nice screaming line. Very nice. Okay, and then inside of it at the very bottom, 
I'm going to draw square. a little tiny square in this light brown. Yep. And then I'm going to color it in. Very nice. Because this is where the candles run go. That's right. My candles on me are blue, but you don't need to do that. Okay. And then I want you to take your um, orange crayon. And if you want. You can. Um, I want you to leave a finger space in between your, your square and draw a little orange heart right here and then color it in. I wanted to do skull. Oh, okay. Draw your skull then. Go for it. Yep. Perfect. You can just try your best. See what you can do. Oh, I love that. That's very nice, Alex. So then, you know when you light a candle on the inside, it'll have um, the wick, and then it'll be like, so you can take your black crayon, and I'm doing like a kind of like a circle right there, and then a skinny line the that dark comes down. The evil from. black. Yeah. And his tooth. Oh, that's perfect, Alex. Okay, so now you can take your yellow, and we're going to make it look like it's shining, so we can do some yellow lines out like this. Any color you want. I'm going to do teal lines. Sure, do some teal lines. I'm doing yellow because I want it to look like a candle, but maybe your candle is a uh, teal. Ooh, cool. And then I added some extra yellow down here too, so it looked like the light was shining and then all over. Gold. Ooh, that'll be fantastic. It's just shining. And it doesn't matter how long it takes you. Yeah. You just need to do it if you want to make it. So now I want you to take your dark blue. Dark blue. Okay, and on top, we're going to make it look like it's a little jar. So I'm going to draw kind of a curvy rectangle and do a couple little lines in it. And it looks like a sky color. Oh, that's a very pretty you blue. Sky color. Yeah, I like that blue a lot. The light, light and then do you see the light blue that we drew? We're going to draw another line outside of it like that. Can you do that? Oh, that's so good. And we want to make it look like it's glass, so we're going to do something that's going to take a little bit of detail, okay? Draw another line really close to it, so then it looks like it's clear glass. That's perfect, Alex. That is perfect. And then um, now we're going to take our black crayon, and we're going to draw a little handle on our lantern. The evil black. <laughs> yep. I just did a little curvy line like that to make it look like a handle. See, I'm doing a loop de loop. Oh, I like it. Because it's a special one. Okay, how do you feel about your little mouse? Yay. Pretty good? Okay, so now we can write our little message on it, and we're going to write share kindness. So you can do this in a pencil or in your marker. Or in the, any color of your Yeah, marker. you could do it in any color, really. Like green. Sure. Or blue, and then do it blue. And then we're going to write a little special message. Do kindness. Can you write your message on yours? Oh, that's awesome. That is great. And then uh, I want you to take a pencil, um, and at the bottom you can sign your name. But do it in a pencil. Mm -hmm. Do it in a pencil so that it um, looks like a very professional picture. Whatever name you are, and whatever name you and you and whatever way you want it to be. Okay. Oopsie. Okay, I'm going to Was that a garbage eraser? Do you want a better one? Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. I'm okay. Good. Darn it.
Nice. Okay, there you go. There are two awesome mouse drawings. And you can just write things on the bottom. That's right. And they look different because they're by two different artists, but they, I think they're both really cool. What do you think? Do you want to say bye to your class? Bye. Okay, bye guys.